Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to spend a little time talking about what a Baker's cyst is, or this bump behind your knee, uh, otherwise called a popliteal cyst, which is the description for this space at the back of the knee. So let's just get oriented first. This is the front of the knee right here. This is where the kneecap is. Here's this big femur, which is your thigh bone, tibia, which is the lower leg bone. And so this is the front of the knee. This is the back of the knee, okay? Your hamstring muscles reside here, they come down, your calf muscles come here, they kind of crisscross in and around this area. Now what happens with the Baker's cyst, and as you can see where I have this red pocket here, that is kind of like a pocket of fluid that can become painful. Many people have them and they are not painful. Sometimes you can just feel it back there and you might think there's something wrong. Um, it's a pretty natural occurrence and we see it in a lot of folks. Um, and so what happens here and why some people have some trouble with this area of their knee is that whenever there is damage on the inside of the knee joint, it causes some inflammation which causes swelling, which builds up pressure. Now, as you can see with this little red line, what I did is just kind of outlined this capsule tissue, which is basically like a water balloon around the knee that helps to hold fluid in there, also helps to hold that knee together. And just like a water balloon, the more water you put in it, the more pressure you have, that water's gonna try to go to any, you know, area of least resistance or path of least resistance. And so what happens is that swelling that can occur anywhere here in around this joint can fill up and push into this area here and start to fill up this Baker's cyst or this popliteal cyst. The more swelling you have, the more filling you can have of this cyst. Now, a lot of people think, well, let's just take care of the problem here, which is just this little pocket of fluid that's sticking out on the back of the knee. And in essence, what's happening is that this is occurring because we have something wrong inside the knee. It's not usually because of a problem back here. So you might feel the swelling back here. Maybe you feel some swelling around the front of your knee. You can't bend it very well because when you bend it and this tibia goes in this direction, this femur goes in that direction, you get this kind of a pinching effect between these bones right here, and that can cause an irritation. Um, and when your knee is full of fluid, it can't straighten very well. That's just the nature of what swelling does to a knee. All right, so the problem resides inside here. You could have a little bit of arthritis around your femur and around the tibia that causes inflammation and swelling, which is the number one cause of a Baker's cyst. You can have um, a torn meniscus, which resides in this area that causes a little bit of bleeding and swelling, a torn ACL, um, and sometimes just we have different types of systemic problems that cause inflammation in our joints, like rheumatoid arthritis and things of that sort, and that can cause a buildup of fluid. So. What we should try to do early on to try to decrease this pressure back here is do things that decrease the swelling inside our knee joint, like taking an anti-inflammatory if you can, as long as your provider um, prescribes it, taking a little bit of pressure off your knee, not twisting and pivoting, maybe trying to avoid squatting really deep so we're not causing an irritation to these tissues over here. Anything to decrease that irritation to the inside of the joint can help settle that down. Now, some people will use a compression sleeve to help decrease swelling. That can be helpful also, as long as when you bend your knee, it's not causing an irritation back here. Um, so, the other thing that can happen, and this happens very seldomly, but something to be concerned about is if this pocket back here just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and suddenly busts, um, which can happen, that can now start to leak down into the back of the calf muscle and mimic a blood clot back there. So it's important that if this is getting larger, you do seek out medical attention, probably be best to see an orthopedic surgeon so they can evaluate the rest of your knee to identify the source of the problem and treat that 
to help manage this swelling that you have back here. Um, and so it would be important that if this just gets out of hand, it starts to become a little more sore, a little more painful, maybe it's starting to go down into your calf muscle, should seek some medical attention. But that is a Baker's cyst or a popliteal cyst in a nutshell. Not always something to be worried about, many people have it, but um, just something to um, keep an eye on. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.